So if you are a Miami Heat fan, you are probably jumping around with joy and screaming at your computer hearing about this news because there has been some really cool stuff going on with them recently that actually of course has to do with PJ Tucker reportedly leaving Miami and not just that wait for it wait for it TJ Warren being extremely interested in signing with the Miami Heat and again, that is all being reported by Ira Winderman of the Sun Centennial. It is also being said by Woj that PJ Tucker is expected to join Philadelphia on a three-year, $30 million deal, which is disgusting. I think a lot of Heat fans were pretty fed up with PJ Tucker and his performance in the conference finals. He did not play good at all. I mean, if they wanted to watch a chubby guy stand in a corner and brick shots and play mediocre defense, they could have just signed me. I'm just saying I would have done the exact same job, just probably on less money. He, of course, declined his $7 million option, I believe it was, and they are now, of course, still looking to trade Duncan Robinson. But TJ Warren is reportedly on the move. He wants a fresh start from Indiana, which completely makes sense. He hasn't played in 400 years. I think it was actually like two years or so. But the point is, he hasn't played for Indiana in quite a while. He doesn't really owe them anything. And I think he wants to go to a contending team, not that one that's rebuilding. And I think Indiana would be in a pretty good mindset to move him anyway. And this is also a perfect situation for Miami because they can also explore a trade for Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson is a guy that is believed to be nearly almost untradeable at this point because he just had a terrible year. It was a really weird deal for them to give him five years, 100 million, whatever it was. But hey, at the time, even I was like, it's a little bit odd, but I understand why they did it. But now it's like, yeah, no, there was no, it was a terrible signing. They didn't even want to play him towards the end of the year. And I think they're going to be highly looking to trade him. Where I think a team like Indiana, out of all teams, would actually be pretty interested. Because I think they have been looking for a really nice, like, um, catch and shoot type of dude that just runs the whole time. Like a Dougie McDermott replacement. There was sources that actually said they tried to trade back to get Dougie McDermott halfway through the year. That didn't happen, and I think they're looking for that dude that can kind of like, it's hard to explain that where Duncan Robinson does it. He's like a catch and shoot guy, but he runs that much. It's like he's creating his own shot anyway, because he runs so much, gets like an, a screen two way three point shot. He does it really well, almost better than a lot of the players in the league. The issue is this season, it just missed nearly every time he did it. So yeah, they definitely need to figure out how that is of course all going to go down again. I think this will be a trade. I think the Heat will get TJ Warren on a sign and trade. Um, and I'm pretty certain on it, actually. I think TJ Warren's definitely getting traded to someone. Not sure who it is, but I think it will be the Miami Heat because this is the first report we pretty much had about him that was big and with a lot of relevancy. And we know that Indiana have been in talks with them previously about Duncan Robinson. So this makes a whole lot of sense to do. I would actually, again, trade up. I, I think it would be, it would probably be maybe nearly a straight, a straight swap. You would probably have to give up Duncan Robinson in a couple seconds to make it happen. Someone at home's probably like, what are, what are you talking about? The Indiana Pacers would never do this. Like, TJ Warren's way better. Yeah, but again, at least they're getting something out of him. I mean, remember the trade a couple years ago where Miami, you know, traded up Josh Richardson for Philly? Philly knew Butler was leaving. They just wanted to get something in return for him. This is the exact same thing. The Pacers just want to get something in return for TJ Warren. And Duncan Robinson, some seconds, would 100% be perfect for them. It's a good thing for both teams. The Heat get rid of Duncan Robinson's contract. The Pacers, though, give a player you know, a chance who's trying to prove himself back in this league, who will definitely be good off their bench and play 20 minutes per game, probably shoot a lot more three-point shots, help get their three-point percentage back, and they get, they get probably a couple seconds back in return. I'm thinking TJ Warren will probably get a similar deal to what he's already on right now, probably a 12 to $15 million type of contract. Again, he was worth a lot more, probably like a $25 million deal um, before he got injured. That's what there was reports saying the Pacers were going to offer him. We know he got hurt. He hasn't played in about like two years, so I'm thinking it's going to be a 12 to $15 million you know, type of contract. 
and that would match up pretty well with Duncan Robinson's 20 or so million dollar deal. I think that would pretty much get done, and um, this would be a great trade for the Heat. First of all, you get you bring in a dude that's way better than PJ Tucker. Again, PJ Tucker, I don't know what he was doing for the Heat. Um, you get, I think TJ Warren's defense can was probably it's probably going to be as good as what PJ Tucker was putting up in that conference finals and playoffs, if not better. His three point percentage is probably going to be better. He was a late three point shooter before he got hurt, and he's a dude that can 100% create his shot. And he's just going to space the floor out really well. I could see him coming to the Heat. Maybe in his first year back, he might not average like the 20 points he was previously doing. It'll probably be like a 13 point per game type of thing. But I could definitely see that being well um, well received. And again, you can just shoot 40% from three, play good defense. And 13 points per game is really all the Heat are probably going to be asking for. And then when Butler and that get injured, he will need to step up and be like the shot creator. It's a great move for both teams. The Heat are trying to really build something. I don't know what's going on with Oladipo. There's reports that he's not going to re-sign, which means, again, they lose Oladipo. They're going to lose a couple other players there. Probably going to need to fill out that bench and get it back up going. Again, you bring in PJ Tucker, you're automatically... Well, you, you get bring in TJ Warren, sorry. You're automatically replacing PJ Tucker with a way better version, way better upgrade. And... The reality is, is this still gives the Heat room to go for Mo Bamba. I've said this a hundred times. I don't know when this video is coming out, if it will have already happened, but I personally think the Miami Heat should go out and get Mo Bamba. There have been talks and rumors that they're interested. I think he would be the perfect player for the Heat, and it would give the ability for Bam to move to the four. Bam would be so perfect at the four because they always play teams like Milwaukee, where they put, they put Bam on Giannis, and they're always like, well, crap, now that we've got him on Giannis, who's going to guard like a Bobby Portis dude who had a good year? And that's when a PJ Tucker will go on to him, and we just know that didn't work. And if they would do the same thing this time around, it would be a TJ Warren who would go on to a Bobby Portis. And I just feel like that is too small, and it doesn't work. You bring in Mo Bamba on about $15 million or so per season, um, which I'm sure they'll be able to do. They'll just throw, you know, sign some players to match salary or something. Um, and then again, Orlando, it would be a good move for them. They can probably get some first back. But the Heat get in a dude that can shot block and shoot threes at around 40%. That's what they've really needed to do was add some three-point shooting. A player that I like, I think Mo Barmer could definitely be like a Larry Markinen, but just with the ability to guard a center and, you know, a center position and shot block. That's pretty much, you know, what will happen. He plays very similar to Larry Markinen, where he's a big dude that just kind of hangs around the perimeter on offense. But on, you know, defense, um, I think he's a lot better. He can definitely defend that interior way better. And then if you make all these moves happen, you're looking at, like, an elite starting five. Like, at the point guard, you will pretty much have Kyle Lowry, who's still there. I don't know what's going on with him. At the two, you would have Jimmy Butler. At the three, you would have TJ Warren. At the four, you would have Bam. At the five, you would have Mo Bum. And six man would be Tyler Hero. If they do move Kyle Lowry, which I expect to possibly happen, if especially if they're going to go out and get Mo Bamba and TJ Warren, then again, that starting five is still going to be really good. Pretty much Tyler Hero at the point, JB at the two, um, Warren at the three, Bam at the four, and Mo Bamba at the five. Every, you know, you've got three really good three-point shooters, like four dudes that can create their own shot. You know, three really, well, four really good defenders. There's really nothing that team wouldn't have. So I think that'd be a really good thing to see the Heat go out and do. But of course, definitely don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think TJ Warren is signing with the Miami Heat in free agency? Of course, I would definitely like to know. Go subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRO slash flowing channel, and my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the wastelands, through the house.